Hello, good evening, guys. Good evening. Hi. Hello, Mauricio, Carla, Magdiel, Marilyn. How are you today, guys? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miguel. Um, I will be as a listener, teacher, because uh, I am working in my car now. In your house? Yes, in my house. You're working? Yeah, I am repairing. What happened to it? Uh, it, it, it doesn't work. Really? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I had, a, I had a little problem with, uh, with, uh, um, with the coolant. Okay, I understand. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, if you're if you are able to participate in uh, at some point during the session, let me know. All right, it will be fantastic. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. It will be fantastic. Yes. Mauricio, good evening, Mauricio. How is everything today? Well, today was great, and oh, excellent. And I already working on the old sessions. And on the platform, and uh, include the, the 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 session number four, and I, I don't have anything to do. Uh, I only wait for the December four uh, at the end of the class. <laughs> right, right, all right. Well, yes, I, haven't, uh, I haven't checked checked the platform. Uh, I'm going to do it later on to update the grades for everyone. So I don't know how how much you have progressed. Mauricio, I haven't seen the the, the platform. Yes. Okay. I think uh, I think I took a look it early in the morning today, like around seven or eight a.m. Yes. So I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen much much about about that. So I, I'll do it later. Yes. Okay. Yes. But I I I don't all all and and I got the better scores. Uh, 100, 100, 95, and 100. All right, all right. But that's only the section, right? Sorry? Because uh, uh, in section number two and section number four, there are two exams, extra exams. Yes, besides, everybody. Besides the, the, the regular or the normal activities that we have. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes, okay. the the midterm exam and the final exam, two of them. But I'm going to check later, Mauricio. Don't worry about it. Okay, thank see you. how how that's going. Yes. All right, all right. Well, welcome, Mauricio, uh, to today's session. It's good to have you here again. Yes. Stephanie, good evening, Stephanie. How are you today? Stephanie, not there. You're not there, Stephanie. Okay, I give it. Good evening, yes. <laughs> Eric, good evening, Eric. I'm going home, okay? Thank you. All right, let me know when you get home and let me know when you're able to participate. Eric, how are you, Eric? How's everything? It's all good, Cody. It's all good. All right, all right. How was your day? 
was was for lax. I had taxable less than yesterday. All right, less than yesterday. Well, you got things to do today then. Not 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 so much in comparison with yesterday. That's okay. That's okay. And uh how, how do you feel? Um at the moment cool because it's raining here. What? Raining. Yes. All right, that's, sure. that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird because the rainy season is over. For sure. Yes, it is over. I don't know, but almost 8 o'clock, uh, it is started. Okay, it's been almost 10 minutes then. Yes. All right. Well, over here, it, it, it stopped raining uh, like three weeks ago. And it's getting dusty. There's dust everywhere. My car is very dirty right now because of the dust. There's a lot of dust. The dusty season is, is already here. It's, yeah. it's hard, you know. It's hard because of the dust. We, we get sick. We get allergies. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people get sick. Many things happen because of the dust. But I believe you. I believe you. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. There's nothing. There's nothing we can do about that. All right. Well, Eric, thank you for joining. Welcome to today's session. It's good to have you here again. All right. Let me check. Katia, how's everything? Katia, how are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Can see good. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Always counting the days of the week. But well, I now now I am trying to to work <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. In your house. I am the, Yes, yes. Now in Home my office? house. Home office. Um. Yes, but after the work office, the office. <laughs> but. Now yes, I, I am connect trying to connect to to the work, just to send some emails for tomorrow. Uh, all right, all right. Ah, uh, just think about that. <laughs> think about this. You're working the whole day in the company, and then you go to your you go back to your house, and you still yes. continue working. No. Yes. <laughs> just <laughs> we change the well the the place to work. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. You're just changing the, the place, but you're still working. Wow. Yes, and, and now I I got out very late to my work at 7 p.m., maybe. 7 p.m. Do you live, do you live I mean, do, is your work or your job far from your house? Uh, for this moment, yes, because uh, when I... Uh, got out uh, late. I go to the my sister ho house, and uh, well, uh, now I'm in my sister house for this moment. Oh, I understand. Uh, so and she lives to... be very, very near to my work. Maybe at mm, thirty minutes without traffic, <laughs> but with traffic could be a uh, fifty minutes or the hour depends. Wow. It's yeah. still a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah just but it is uh if I go to my parents' home, I would say two hours <laughs> wow. or two thirty hours, yeah. For the traffic. Yes, I understand that. So you're telling yeah. me that when you when you get off late, like around six thirty or seven PM, you don't go to your house, you go to your sister's house, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's, yeah. that's okay. That's perfect. Yes. That's good. yes, I couldn't go to them, my parents' house if I I am late because it is night. <laughs> yes, I know. I it, know. It's, it's not the thing that you are um, all day when the song is present at this moment that is night. Yes, I get it. I get it. All right. All yeah. right. That's that's good. That's good. Well, the good thing about this is that it's Wednesday, Wednesday already. Tomorrow is Thursday. Just two more days, and this is over. Yes. Two more days, and it's it's Friday. 
Are yeah, you but in my case, the, yes. No, in my case, the, this this two days that is, mm, that is Thursday and Friday for me, that day will be will be a uh, very complicated of my work. Oh no! Because I, I yeah I will have a lot of work in the Thursday and Friday for my uh, project and the uh, testing the the process. I am the user representation of my area to to explicate my, my project. So <laughs> this day will be very complicated for me. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, thank you. But I think that yeah. I survived. <laughs> and I'm trying to enjoy the process. <laughs> well, that's the good thing. We have to stay positive no matter what, no matter how difficult our job is or or how yes, difficult it is work. getting. You do? Uh, yeah, I like it. I, I like the my work. But obviously, sometimes it could be stressful or or tired. Tiring, yes. Mm hmm But yeah. I, I like it. <laughs> All right. And and what 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 do you work? What do you do? I am business financier. Uh well sometimes I I do the I remember that I asked for this work in English but I don't remember in this moment. But the the Sierra Diary Sierra um, but in this moment, I was being the CNO by of my of of finance finance area. Mm -hmm. So the project, the new project, is um I am leading that project. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I I yeah I need to be cre creative in my mind. Um, a lot of things that that you need to develop your skills when you are working with projects. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, I'm guessing that you deal with a lot of numbers and uh, that's, <laughs> that's problematic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you need to love the numbers <laughs> to work in this. Yes, uh, that's my, my problem. I don't know. I don't know anything about mathematics. I many don't. people, many people don't like it, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, in my case, when I was in the school, uh, I liked it, uh, mm -hmm. the mathematics, but I, I love more uh, chem chemical, but chemistry. I, I, chemistry, sorry, chemistry, but I didn't follow that, that path. <laughs> yes. So uh, in the university, I... I took the something about more mathematics, accounting, and mm. economic. Yeah. And now I'm working in that. <laughs> well, that is good. That is good. Yes, I I yes. do not really I do not really like chemistry or physics. I do like science, biology, and uh, mm. things about about life, about animals, about plants, all of that. I like it. But when it comes to chemistry and physics, that's too complicated. Even mathematics. Or mathematics is even more complicated. I really don't understand the numbers. That's why I'm an English teacher. Ah, but it's a good English. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. I mean, there, a lot of, there are people that a like it. Of... There are many people that I like it. There are people that don't like it. Yes, for example, yes. I have... Uh, in the university, I had many, well, I had many classmates that now are not working as teachers. I think mm -hmm. I am the only one from my promotion, from my classmates. Maybe there are two or three more students or classmates that are working as teachers. The other ones, they uh, are in the U.S. or some other countries but they are not working as teachers. They are doing some di different activities, different jobs. Translators or something like uh -huh, that. Exactly, exactly. Because they don't really like teaching. But I, yes. I, I, at the beginning, I did not like it, you know, to be honest. I did not like teaching until I found out that, that I liked it. Yes. For me, uh, that area, that 
well, uh, degree, I don't know. To be a teacher is very complicated. My daddy is a teacher. And so when I was, uh, well, when I was a, a kid, mm -hmm. I, I saw that, I saw him, and I, I thought, Oh my God, that is so complicated. I have a lot of uh, children or people with you. I don't know. I don't like it in that. <laughs> but it is the other part that, that you maybe the, you feel with the numbers. I feel in that profession, it, it's very complicated to, to handle a lot of uh, people. I don't know. Maybe I am antisocial. <laughs> it, no, it's it's not your, your thing. It's not that you are antisocial. It's like that you don't. That's not your profession. You don't feel like it is your profession. It's yes. complicated. It's complicated yes. have a a people mm -hmm. under you. Yes, especially the same, if they are kids. The same happened to me at the beginning. Uh, I knew, or I had, I had the idea. I had the idea that that teaching was not my profession. Because I uh, I started. That's how you write it, stammer. Oh. The chat. Let me see if that's how you write it. Both both are the same. Stutter, stammer. But there's a, a, a slightly different there. Difference. Let me see. Oh, that's that's how you write it. Because I can't remember how, how you write it. I know it's stutter, but not not uh and just want we want tea then. Oh, yes, one T, one T. I brought two. That's the one, that's the one. And stammer is the other one. What is the pronunciation of that word? Stutter. Stutter, oh, okay. Stammer, stammer and stutter. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I, I stammer a lot. You know what it is in Spanish? No. What it means? I start. Uh, I start start. <laughs> you start to move here. Yes, exactly, exactly. It is. That's what it is. So it's a family, a family thing, a family problem. Uh, I have many family members, cousins, aunts, and some other people that they have the same problem. They stammer a lot. I stammer, but not in English. I do it in Spanish. Yes. So I have difficulties when I speak Spanish. Like a lot of difficulties, mm -hmm. to be honest. Yes. I sometimes can control it, and I can speak fluently in Spanish. But sometimes I get I get problems, and I get stuck, and I cannot say the words. Yes. That's why at the beginning, I had the idea that I was never going to be a teacher, because I couldn't speak. I couldn't really communicate with people. But I don't know how I pulled it off, and I managed to do it, and I'm here. Yeah, very fluently. <laughs> and yes, English and Spanish. Wow. It yes. is good. Yes, I, I, know, I know it is good. Yes. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. excellent. Thank you for joining to today's, today's session. Thanks, yes. thanks. All right, all right. Very good. Ronald, good evening. Ronald, how are you? How's everything? How is everything going? Uh, hello, uh, good evening. Uh, just um, everything's fine. So uh, I uh, seen something, some some uh, things of the work. So I I have I am in in two things in the class and some and with the work. You're working right now. Yes. All right, okay. You're working and you are in the class. That's okay. That's okay. I understand. That's we ha what we have to do. <laughs> we have to do that. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Excellent. Fabricio, good evening. Fabricio, how are you today, Fabricio? How's everything? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I think I'm fine, teacher. Uh, 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 today, it was um, just more one day, just more how say it, hectic day than than others. But um, 
that's my job. That's I think that's uh, work life. Yes. Sometimes uh, it's harder than other times, but in general, uh, I think that everything is fine. Just okay, and I'm very tired, fine. but in good. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice ánimo? A mood, a good mood. In good, back in good mood. Waiting for my 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 car to be ready to work on uh, with with uh, it. ¿Se sería? What happened to your car? Sorry. What happened to your car? Uh, the accident. The, the, the Oh yes, I remember. I remember. Yesterday, well, the 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 assurance company gave me the money to to pay for the repairing, and mm. so tomorrow I will be at the mechanical workshop. That's yes. the word. Yes, the, the, to, the workshop. Yes, the shop. To to give them um, an anticipo, un adelanto. Money advance. Some money advance. To give them a, a, a money advance for, yeah, the, yeah. for the repairing. I understand that. Yeah, I told you yesterday that my, that my car broke down too. It broke down on uh, Saturday and uh, I got it back repaired yesterday. And I was testing it today and it is working. It is working perfectly. It is not giving me any problems. Hopefully it will continue like that. Because I spent two hundred dollars on that yesterday, <laughs> a lot of money, you know. It's it's uh, complicated. And what you... what was the problem with your car? It had uh, some sensor problems. Some oh. sensor problems. They replaced the sensors. I bought them brand new. I replaced them, and the starter engine was was bad too. The starter engine was in bad conditions too. So they removed it and they checked it and they uh changed a lot of things in it. Yes. And uh well there's, there's a belt problem, a chalk observer problem, many things that are happening to that car right now. <laughs> uh you know it's it's complicated at yeah, that yeah, point because uh, sometimes the, the mechanics uh, take advantage of uh when you have many many problems in your car. Yes, I know, I know that. I know that, yes. Well, well, it's good to have you here, Fabricio. Thank you for joining. Thank you Thank very you, much. Peter. Yes. Mario, how is everything, Mario? Welcome to today's session. How are you? I'm fine. And how was work? Yes. How was work? My work is, is very, very tired. All right. It's okay. It's very, very good, right? Awesome. Awesome thing. Excellent. Well, Mario, welcome to today's session. And thank you for joining. All right. We got more people over here. They are... Uh, as listeners, I suppose, Gamaliel, Emerson, we have Raul, uh, Luis Javier, Rafael, Carla. Thank you, everybody, for joining. We are going to start right now with the attendance. Let me tell you that you should not, you should not skip any of the last days. We're just missing... Including today, we're missing four days, four, three days, tomorrow, Friday, and Monday. Three more sessions, that means six more hours. So I suggest you guys do not miss any of the sessions because you might have uh, inconvenience with the next module. I hope you don't get any problem for any inconvenience with this, but I'm telling you, you might have some inconvenience because of the, the attendance. 
I've been telling you that the attendance is one of the, 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 the most important requirements that ESO4 asks for. So we better deliver that. We better deliver it. Let me take attendance. All right, let me see. Diego Josue Benitez Leiva is not here. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Present coach. Thank you. Ulisse Amilet Villalta Villalta. Checking, I'm checking, I'm checking. Uh, oops. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present. Thank you, thank you both. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Mario, yes, thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramírez. I'm here. Thank you. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. And Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego. Okay. Thank you guys for joining. Let's begin. Here we go. Okay, as you already know, today is class number 22 or session number 22, Wednesday, November 27th. Yes, we are, uh, we will be saying goodbye to November tomorrow. So let's enjoy November 2023 one more day which will be tomorrow, yes. All right, there is a pending activity from two, from two sessions ago. So we're gonna work on that activity before, or that's the, 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 the beginning of the class or the session. Describe in a 10 line paragraph, three ways in which social media marketing is helping businesses connect to their audiences and grow sales. Integrate indefinite articles. We have not seen uh, indefinite articles yet. And uh, we're gonna see that we're gonna see part of it today. Part of the articles today, we're not going to see the entire thing, just part of it, yes. So we're gonna start by writing a 10-line paragraph uh about about three ways in which social media marketing is helping businesses connect to people and how they are increasing sales. All right, let's begin. It can be uh, from seven to 10 lines. Seven will be the minimum and the 10 will be the maximum. Or if you wanna write down 12, 11 or 15, no problem, All right? But the minimum will be seven lines. Seven lines. I do not have a, a timer here, so I don't I cannot set the time. But let me close this. I'm going to send to you the information through the chat. I mean the activity through the chat so that you can work on it and you can ask me any possible questions about that. 
and then we find the, that beauty. Let me share it to you guys. Hold on. Okay, there you go. There you go. Again, describe in a 10 line paragraph, it can be uh, seven, uh, three ways in which social media marketing is helping businesses connect to their audiences and grow sales. Integrate indefinite pronouns, not indefinite articles. That's a mistake there. Because the lesson, yesterday's lesson was about, or when was it? On Monday, where uh, I was telling you about the uh, indefinite pronouns. So we've been studying the indefinite pronouns. Today, we're going to study the articles or one of the articles. So over there was indefinite pronouns, not indefinite articles. So guys, let's start working. It's 8.33 right now. So I'm going to give you those seven minutes from 8.33 to 8.40. At 8.40, I'm going to uh, ask you to start sharing the paragraph. Let's begin. Or do you have any questions about uh, the activity? Do you have any questions about the activity? I have one question, teacher. Okay. What is your question? Just remember me about of the indefinite pronoun indefinite pronouns anyone anybody anywhere anything somebody someone something i sent a, oh, a picture okay. a, a, a screenshot yesterday, yesterday. Yes. yeah that's right okay, let Thank me you. let me see if i still have it i still have it Yes, well, they are something, somewhere, someone, somebody, nothing, nobody, nowhere, no one. Um, everywhere, everything. I just shared it again. Just share it again. Earthlings.
you have any questions, let me know. Okay, I'm here to help to help you out with anything. Two more minutes, guys. Two more minutes.
Okay, it's time to share. Let's begin with it. I need a volunteer to share the paragraph. Anyone? Hello? No volunteers? Okay, let me choose directly. Teacher. Okay, Fabricio? Sorry, I okay. barely have seven lines. I don't know if that's okay. It's okay. Go ahead, share it. Okay. Uh, nowadays, one of the principal tools uh, that can help a business to reach a wider audience is the social media, because every one of us is connecting all time to internet and checking our messages or reviewing the content in there. And that way, companies can advertise at any time and everywhere, 24-7, their products to try to increase their sales. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you for sharing your paragraph of it. Very good, very good. All right. Let's see, we got uh, Mario. Mario, can you share your, your paragraph? No, Mario is not there. Ronald, can you please share your, your paragraph, Ronald? Yes, uh, just give me a second. Um, right now. Um, uh, uh, I, I write like that, like um, social media has evolved into an essential component of digital marketing, providing businesses with an invaluable platform to engage with a hire their audience, build strong relationships, and promote their products or services effectively. These tools offer great versatility for creating engaging and personalizing content, allowing brands to establish a significant presence in the current digital landscape. Okay, it was kind of difficult to hear to understand you, Donald. I don't know if there's okay. some... Uh, okay. Might be the... The microphone or the echo or something. Yes. Okay. Uh, again. Yeah, but I, I I don't really understand what you're saying. It it, it sounds kind of weird. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, Are you using a microphone or headphones? A hands. Uh, I was I was using. I was using earphones, but I disconnect them. Ah, there you go. There you go. Better, better. Now I can hear you. I can hear you well. Now I cannot hear you. Is more clear? Okay. I can hear okay. you. Okay. Um, okay, uh, again, uh, social media has evolved into an essential component of digital marketing, providing businesses with an invaluable platform to engage with their target audience, build a strong relationships, and promote their products or services effectively. These tools offer a great versatility for creating engaging and personalizing content, allowing brands to establish a significant presence in the current digital landscape. All right, all right. That's awesome. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you, Ronald, for sharing your, your paragraph about, about digital marketing. Well, the one that we use in social media. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. Let me see. Mauricio, can you share yours? Could you please provide to me one or two minutes, please? 
Sorry, can you hear me? Yes. <clears throat> Could you please provide to me one or two minutes? Okay, we're gonna go with Katia thanks. then. And thanks, then thanks, you thanks. Thanks. Katia? Okay, teacher. Yeah. Marketing is very important to grow someone's or everyone's brand because it connects someone with a product or brand and increases sales somewhere because it gives more visitors to the brand and increases the audience wherever it is because marketing can cross the borders. It's international. International borders. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Katia, for sharing your uh, paragraph. Eric, go. Here it we... is your turn, Eric, to share. Eric, can you share? Right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I I I had the microphone too wrong. Oh okay, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, the first way in which social media are helping us is to make ourselves know without customer having to visit stores or warehouses. Anyone can start an online businesses, you only need a mobile networks and uh, your business can continue running while you sleep uh, 24 seven. And this tool saves, saves us time and money to show the businesses. All right. Very well, well done, excellent, Eric. Thank you for sharing. Let me see, Marilyn, are you ready? Read your paragraph or share your paragraph. Marilyn? Not there. All right, let me see. How is you? Are you ready now? Yes, I was ready to just uh I had to do something. Okay. <clears throat> well, digital marketing offers an important advantage for businesses. It always makes it easier for customers to find your brand wherever and whenever and learn about your products or service at least and updates about your your brands or the products that you want to show off for your customers at any times um called digital marketing uh, take advantage uh, of over all situations and 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 over all technology that we have in hands like phones, tablet, tablet, computers, a TV, and something like that. Digital marketing has, has the option to show all benefits about your brand at any time. All right, excellent. Thank you for sharing your paragraph, Mauricio. And thank you everyone for doing it as well. We're gonna continue, I think, because we got nothing else to do. Uh, there are some things we gotta cover right now. Right now, let's see. Hmm.
so we got nobody else to share. Let's begin with this. Share the okay, right here. I'm gonna go to, to part uh to page number page number thirty six. We have uh some questions in a short conversation to cover. I will be able I will be able to describe specific influences of technology in the e commerce customer experience for of the future. Do you think the development of a virtual reality will play an important role in the future for uh, e-commerce? Well, it's only one question. People, listen to this question. Do you think the development of a virtual reality, reality will play an important role in the future for e-commerce? What do you think about this? What do you think? I think that it will depend on the game because um, the virtual reality, uh, it depends. For example, if, uh, if the customer uh, is, is willing to take a, a review, of the of the experience or uh, the, the useful experience of the of the product or the service. So, for example, for a, a, a small appliances or I don't know a small product, I I don't think that it would be too much different. Uh, but for example, I don't know. Uh, I don't have in mind a specific product. But, but I think that it, it could be, for example, if a uh, uh, a travel agent uh, that wants to uh, to incorporate virtual reality uh, to give a preview of the of the vacation of the vacation offer, maybe uh, it's something like that. Yeah, I I think that is is more a case where the virtual reality to complement the the. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, right. Okay, thank you, Rona, for your opinion. Again, it was kind of difficult to understand you, but I understood some parts. I got some parts. That's a good opinion. Thank you for, for sharing it. Let's see, another person that would like to share or give their opinion. We had the chance to do that right now. Opinions, opinions, people. Do you think the development of virtual reality, VR, will play an important role in the future for e-commerce? Let me see. All right, let me see. Mauricio, what do you think, Mauricio? Well, um, I think that the VR um, is a, a important thing nowadays in, and in the future for the e-commerce because uh, for the ads or show the products uh, in the future, uh, e-commerce will not will not need the real person to to test the products or, or or to show the benefits about about different um different things. Just with the VR, we we will be able to to check all uh, benefits or all stuff that the uh, products has and. And we can check the 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 VR uh, in different play for play place places like YouTube, Instagram, uh, Twitter, TikTok, uh, or or the uh, the music industry. For example, uh, now, IA 
is are creating different it's creating different sounds and, and we for example in my case i never think that it, it, it could be happen and nowadays is is a reality and i think that is the same thing we if we want to talk about vr in e-commerce mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's a good opinion. Thank you, Mauricio, for uh, giving us your point of view. Yes, like you said, eh, eh, everything is evolving. That's what, what uh, Ronald said, that everything is evolving, everything is changing, and we are, oh, or now we are, we have to adapt ourselves to our new reality or to the new reality. And the reality is the, technolo the, ton the technological revolution, you know. Now, like, everything is is uh changing like i said evolving uh it's through technology even even the 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 minet over here in the salvador is trying to include the the artificial intelligence to the to the classes uh they are trying to include the the, the parents mothers and, and fathers in the in technology so it's it's a a revolution. Technology will change everybody. Well, it has changed everybody. Will continue changing more people, more lives, and there will be a time in which uh, the digital immigrants will no longer exist, and it's gonna be just people that can uh, control technology very well. Let me see. Well, give me a second. I need to get some some water right now. I mean it. A second. Let me see. Tovar, Fabricio, Fabricio Tovar. What do you think, Fabricio? Well, teacher, really, I don't know almost nothing about the virtual reality. Mm -hmm. I can imagine uh, how it could help for e-commerce. Yes. So you don't know anything about, about virtual reality? Um, almost nothing, teacher. Almost nothing. All right, I understand that. I, I understand just that. heard about that, but um, I don't know what it is exactly. Well, let me show you what it is. It's OK. Yes. Let me show you what it is. VR. Find a good definition right here. Oh, Wikipedia. I just bought uh, some lenses uh, of VR to my to my son uh, a few years ago, but I, I don't I don't know exactly for for what are those lenses. Do you see what I'm sharing? But oh, this is in Spanish. That's in Spanish. Why Spanish? All right, here we go. Take a look. So look at this. 
regard the woman using the technological uh, or the virtual reality, the VR, with the with this thing, it says that it's a simulated, simulated experience. Like when you put those things on, you're gonna you're gonna be like uh, in a simulation. You're gonna go to the store. You're gonna be a person, you know, because there over there. You're gonna be a person, and you're gonna be buying things online. But you're gonna be, like I said, in a simulation. Like you will uh, put those things on, and you will imagine that you are really buying the things in the place. But in reality, you are just in a simulation. Yes, simulated experience that employs post tracking and 3D near eye displays to give the user an immersive feel of a virtual of a virtual world. Applications of virtual reality include entertainment, particularly video games, education such as medical or military training, and business such as virtual meetings. Other distinct type of VR style technology include augmented it, augmented it, augmented it, yes. Reality and mixed reality, sometimes referred to as extended reality or a, a XR, although definitions are currently changing due to the nascence of the industry. So basically is when you enter a virtual world. Have you seen any news about Meta or Meta from Facebook or from uh, Mark Zuckerberg? Yes? Have you guys? About Meta. About Meta. Uh-huh. Yes, that's that's what what uh what virtual reality is, the VR is. Uh uh-huh. They, they have a they have a company, uh Oculus, that is a that is the developer of this of these glasses. Uh-huh, virtual reality reality glasses. Yes, yes. Exactly, exactly. That's what it is. That's what it is. All right. Well, that's Hi, what. Teacher. Hi, good evening, Diego. Welcome. Thank you. Sorry for these days, but I had problems with my phone. Um, I throw it in a pool, in a swimming pool, cracks oh, no. and I have it now. No, in the conditions that I want, but it's all that I have. But I'm here. All right, all right. Well, the good thing is that you are here. We we got you. Thank you for for joining. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, let's continue with the second part over here. Thank you for your opinions, people. You did it very well. And uh, let's take a look at the short paragraph right here. And uh, pay attention uh, to the word or to the word involved. Jose and Tito are talking about their customer experience in a new store. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it with a partner. Hey, have you see, have you been to the new store in town? Oh yes, it's awesome. The augmented reality tour. The staff. The period was incredible. What? Wait, hold on. The augmented reality. I think it's reality. Toward the staff. Period was incredible. Yes, yes. This is reality right there. Reality, not like that. It's reality. Let me change it. This is really over there. It's not responding. All right. The augmented, augmented reality tour the staff, the staff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. 
you just have to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician pictures and streaming for for from their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional codes for free album downloads. Let me show you what the uh, augmented reality is. This is what it is. It's basically this. Take a look. You see the picture right there? Do you see the picture that I'm sharing? Yes, picture. That's augmented or augmented technology. That's what you see here. Augmented technology, yes. You just do that and you just scan the, the place and it sends you everything. You scan something and it gives you the information. You can scan anything. You can scan a place. You can scan a, a, an object and it will give you the information. Hold on. And it will give you the information. Take a look at this one. Just look. We got some product or some items over here. The person is just uh, like taking a picture. With that, you can get the codes. You can get the information. That's augmented technology or uh, reality. But look at this. It is there a type of technology that allows digital images and information to be displayed onto the physical environment. That's what it is. Now, let's see. Let's practice the conversation, guys. Or uh, do you have any questions about it? No questions. Okay, let's see. Let me hear Fabricio and Ronald. Fabricio and Ronald. Okay. Jose. Uh, Jose is Ronald, Fabricio is Tito. Okay. 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 Uh, hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes, it's awesome. The augmented reality tour, the stuff we prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the, music, of the musician, pictures and streams from the, the latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part uh, were the promotional codes for free album downloads. Switch roles. Now, okay. Hey, have you have you been to the new store in town? Uh, oh yes, it was awesome. it was awesome. The augmented reality tour, the stuff the bird was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the CDs to get information of the musician pictures and streaming from their late, late, latest live concert. Yeah, for the best part, we're making a post for three thousand downloads. Okay. It is the latest or latest? Latest. Oh, you can latest. say latest. You can say latest. latest. Not a not a problem. You can say latest. But okay. it sounds it sounds better to say or much better to say latest. All right, uh, Magdil, do you have a question or do you want to participate? I want to participate. Okay, thank you. Stephanie, what about you? Are, you? are you there? Can you help us out with the participation? I think not. Diego, what about you? Mikos. Okay, Fabricio is there then. Fabricio and Bang Magdiel. Fabricio? No, sorry, Mauricio. Ma Mauricio and Magdiel. Mauricio, you are Jose and Magdiel is Tito. Okay. No, Mauricio, Jose and Magdiel Tito. 
Mauricio, you are Jose and Magdiel is Okay, okay. Uh, hey, have have you been to I'm sorry. Hey, have you been to the new story in town? Oh yes, it's awesome. The augmented reality turn the staff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the calls on the CDs to get the information of the museum pictures and streaming for the latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional calls for free album download. Switch. Yes. You are Jose. Magdiel, you're Jose. Jose. Okay. Okay. Hey, how'd you been how'd you been to the new store in town? Oh yes, it's awesome. The argument and reality reality tour the staff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. Judges had to scan the colors on the CDs to get the information of the museum, pictures, and the streaming from their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional calls for free albums downloads. All right, musician. Musician. musician 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 don't forget about that one thank you for reading both of you let's see katia help us uh with eric okay teacher who did you sorry and jose let me see well diego, eric. diego diego go with jose and uh, Katia, you are Tito. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Tito. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes, it's autumn. The Ausment uh, really, really, really tour reality. the staff, reality, sorry, tour the staff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes. Sorry. Yes, it was. You just you just have to scan the codes on the CDs to get the information of the musician, pictures, and a streaming from their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional codes for free album journals. Which roles? Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, have you been to the newest store in town? Oh, yes. Oh. It's awesome. The augmented real reality tour reality. the stuff reality tour the stuff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan the codes on the cities to get the information of the musician pictures and streaming from their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional codes for free album downloads. Okay, thank you both for reading. Excellent. Thank you, thank you. Let me see. Mario? Yes, With Eric. For sure. Jose, for well, Eric, you are Jose, and Mario, you are Tito. Okay. Hey, had you been to be, had you been to the new store in town? Oh, yes, it's also the argument, argumented reality show, the stuff prepared was incredible. Yes, it was. You just had to scan to quotes on the cities to get the information on the museum. Muse 
musician. musician, yeah, musician, musician, pictures and a streaming for their latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promoter products for three albums on loud. Hey, have you been to the new store in town? Oh yes, it's awesome. The argument argumented rally tour the stuff prepared was incredible. Yes, I was. You just you just have to scan the code on the CDs to get the information of the musician pic musician picture and a streaming from the latest live concert. Yeah, but the best part were the promotional codes for free album downloads. Uh, Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Oh, the word is awesome. This word is kind of difficult to pronounce. I know, I know that, I know that, but it's awesome, awesome. That's what happened. Awesome, yes, like a big bear in Spanish. A what, sorry? Like a big bear in Spanish. A big bear? Yes, a song. Ah. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Awesome, <laughs> right, right, yeah, you're right. I never thought of that, yes, it is true, it is true. All right. It says here, check the technology that you believe will have an important role in improving customers' experience at retail stores. Then discuss the questions below. We got a 3D printing, printing, a virtual reality, 3D body scanners, clothing design, well, self-serve uh, kiosks or restaurants, and uh, augmented reality. What do you think? Which ones, which ones can we check? Do you think 3, 3D printing is going to improve the experience at retail stores? Hello? Is anybody there? Um, letter A, right? No, no, the first one. The first thing is that we're, we're uh, trying to check, to check, uh, the technological tool that will change the way we, we do things at retail stores. And virtual reality. Virtual reality, okay, we get that one, it will change, or it will improve customer's experience. Virtual reality, what else? What about augmented reality? I think it will too. What else? What about 3D printing? I believe that 3D printing, it will help print. us. Okay, very good. What about 3D body scanners, clothing design? Yes. Okay. We're going to continue down here with part number four. Yes. 
it says here how to use the, the indefinite, sorry, how to use the definite article, the. How to use the definite article, the. This one is, is interesting. Look at examples in the box and then complete the sentences below. Use the plus a noun when the hearer or the reader already has a reference of the noun you're referring to. Yes. This word, the definite article, is used only when we are when we know or when the person that is next to us in front of us or the person that is listening to us has a reference of the object, person, place, or animal, or basically the noun. When we have a reference, we can use the article the. Or when we have or talk, are talking about something specific, we use the article the. Well, we're gonna break it down later on. That's why it is called definite because we know we know why we're using it, how we are using it. We know. If we didn't know, we would use indefinite articles. Indefinite articles are two, a or n. In those ones, we don't know what we're talking about or what we are referring to. But over here, we know. We know. Use the plus count noun, a count noun, to express that the noun is a specific as opposed to general. Augmented reality has the ability to blur the boundaries between the physical and digital worlds. Blur, do you know what blur is? You know what blur is? It's not blur. Sorry? Difuminar. Yes, what else? Puede ser como... Combine. When you see some... When you see... When you're looking at something, but you cannot really look at it because it's blurry, como borroso. Yes. So look at the example. The, the ability. The ability and the physical and digital worlds, the businesses that win the battle. Okay, hold on. Augmented reality has the ability. The ability, we're talking about a uh, specific ability of uh, augmented reality. So that's why we use the article because we're using or talking about something specific to blur the boundaries, okay, the boundaries still talking about something specific, it means, or uh, about the augmented reality, between the physical, okay, we're talking about something specific, the physical world. The businesses, look at this. The businesses that win the battle of, uh, the, of customer service can gain a competitive advantage. We're talking about very specific businesses. Which ones? The ones that win. Win the battle. The battle. Win the battle of customer service. Next, the ability to offer a self-service approach to customers is very important. Yes. Look, the ability to offer a self-service approach to, cus to consumers, very specific uh, thing. 2017 will be the year, the year specific, 2017, the year of technology in customer service. Tomorrow we're going to see this one. Tomorrow we're going to deal with zero article. I'm going to explain why we don't use, we're going to see some of it right now, but I'm going to go with more details about zero article tomorrow. Let me show you this. Okay, the definite article, the. Let's begin with something that has a, the, 
many people get confused with or that many English learners have uh, confusion with. And it's this, what is the real, the real pronunciation of the? What is the real pronunciation of the? Well, it has three different pronunciations. Uh, let me tell you, we use the, some people say the, and some people say the. But for the and the, there are rules. And uh, let me show you some of the rules or the rules. And normally, we pronounce, look at this, normally. In many occasions or in many cases, we pronounce the, we pronounce the with a short sound, like the, look, the. I read something. Wait, can I raise this shirt right now? Felt something on the floor. All right. But when the comes before a vowel sound, listen to that and look at that vowel sound, A E I O U. When you hear the sound of a vowel, when you hear the sound of A, when you hear the sound of E, I, O, or U, in those cases, we are not going to pronounce it as the. We're going to change it. We pronounce it as pronounce it as a long V. V. Take a look. The apple. Well, you write it, you write it like this. Look, you write it like this, the apple. But the pronunciation is this one, the apple, the apple. Why? Because we have a vowel, letter A, the egg, the ice cream, the orange, the ugly fruit. Yes, the ugly fruit is uh, some, type of, some type of fruit similar to the orange and, and the tangerine. It's very, very similar to the orange as the ugly fruit. Yes. So I'm the prince. <laughs> so people, basically, when we have uh, the article the with the consonant sound, we're going to pronounce it as the. But when we have a vowel pronunciation or a vowel sound at the beginning of the word, we're going to say the. Yes. Look at this. We have we have a, a comparison. It is important to understand that it is what we say that matters and not what we write. It is the sound that matters, the sound, the sound, not what we write, not the consonant and not the vowel, because there are many words that start with a consonant, but the pronunciation starts with a vowel or vice versa. We have words that start with a vowel but the pronunciation starts with a consonant, not the letter used in the right used in writing a word. So we use a long D before a vowel sound, not necessarily before a vowel. Look at these cases. We write the house, the house. Look, house, consonant H, the house. That's what we say, the house. Why? Because the H, we pronounce the H, we say ha, house, house. It's a consonant sound. It's not house. It is not house. If it were house, then we would say the house. But since it is not house, it is house, we say the house. Look at this one. This one changes. The hour, the hour. Consonant H, the word starts with an H. Yes, it does. But we do not pronounce that H. And that H is silent or it is mute. We say the hour because the word starts with a vowel sound, not a consonant sound. Look at this. The university. The university. 
the, not the university, is the, the university. Yes, why? Because we have the vowel, we have the vowel, yes, we do. But the vowel or the word university does not start with a vowel sound. It begins with the consonant sound. The, look, university, with, with a Y, consonant sound. Yes, the umbrella, umbrella, the umbrella. Vowel U, in this case, we have letter U, umbrella, umbrella, the umbrella vowel sound. So we need to be careful about this. Yes, all right, questions, people. Questions so far about the pronunciation. Guys, questions about pronunciation, you can ask me now. Hello? No questions? I get it, teacher. I get it. Guys, get it? All right, all right, that's okay. That's okay, perfect then, thank you. Let's continue with the other one. Now, there is one, uh, how can I say, exception for uh, the and the, well, the in this case. There's one exception that it doesn't matter, uh, it doesn't matter how the word begins or what sound the word begins with. For instance, when you are trying to emphasize a word or something, we use the emphatic the, as you can see there. When we wish to place emphasis on a particular word, we cause an emphatic the. Whether or not the word begins with a consonant or vowel sound, it doesn't matter. If you are trying to put emphasis in the following word, then it doesn't matter if the word begins with a consonant sound or a vowel sound. Look, I bought the, the new iPhone. I bought the new iPhone, no emphasis, no emphasis. I bought the new iPhone. Then the person B says, what? The, the iPhone 15? The person is raising his voice or her voice or emphasizing the iPhone, the new iPhone. Because it says here, I bought the new iPhone. What? The, the iPhone 15? The iPhone 15? Like raising their voice or emphasizing the iPhone. Yes, exactly. So in these cases, we can say the, the, yes, the. Do you have a question about this one? No questions? No, teacher, I think that I got it. You get this one? All right, all right, perfect. When to use the in English? The is typically used in a campaignment with any noun with a specific meaning or a noun referring to a single thing. The important distinction is between countable and non-countable nouns. If the noun is something that can't be counted or something singular, then uh, use the. If it can be counted, then use a or an depending on the context. For example, John is the best in the pia at piano. There can only be uh, one who's best. Lions are the most dangerous animals. There can only be one most one most dangerous. We are going to the ball game tonight, referring to a specific game. Yes. 
this one is easy to understand. Okay, now we're going to see with details how we use the article, when we use it, when we don't use it. With names, look at this, with the names of countries and continents. This is not for every continent or for every country. It's for specific ones. In these instances, we do not use the article at all. Look, but if the country is made up of different parts, or if the name is taken from common from common nouns, for example, the US, the UK, the UAE, excuse me, then we use the article the and say the US, the UK, the UAE, the such uh Czech Republic, the Netherlands. Etc. Only in those cases we use we use the article the U.S. the U.K. the E. Sorry, the U.A.E. the Czech Republic and the Netherlands. Yes, we are not going to say the Honduras, the the Mexico. No. If we're talking about nationality, yes, we can use it. The Salvadorians, the Mexicans, the Costa Ricans, the Americans, uh, the North Americans, the Europeans, all of those. It is the same when, when speaking of continents and islands. It is not used at all with the continents. We usually do not use an article when speaking about islands. But if the name is made up of different parts, then use the, the definite article. For example, Africa, Europe, Bermuda, Tasmania, but the Virgin Islands, the Bahamas, right? Yes. She lived in America, not in the America, right? She lived in, they lived in England. Uh, my friend is from the Czech Republic. And I will go to Galapo, Galapagos Island next year, right? Yes, islands. Yes. When it is a group of islands and it's called or, or has a one one name of it. Yes. So this applies to specific countries and specific continents. With the words breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we don't use it. We don't use it. When it comes to eating in general, the article is not used. But if you're speaking a particular breakfast, lunch or dinner, use the, the. for example, I, I don't eat breakfast and we didn't like the dinner. What is the difference? It's like, uh, if I say we didn't like the dinner, it's, um, I'm talking about a very specific dinner, maybe today's dinner or yesterday's dinner. But if I say we don't or we didn't like dinner, we didn't like dinner, you're talking about some general. You're not talking about a specific dinner. Yes. So if you, you can use the article, the, of course, I don't eat uh, breakfast or I don't eat the breakfast, depending on the context. Yes. With the names of jobs and professions, we don't use the, the article. In these instances, use the indefinite article A or N. For example, I want to be a politician. My younger brother wants to be a vet. Not the vet, not the politician. That's not, that's not correct. Because if you say the politician, you, you're being specific. If you say the vet, you're being specific. So it doesn't apply. With, the com with compass directions. Campus directions are written with a, with capital letters when they designate the definite, definite regions, the north, the south, the east, the west, but not when they indicate direction in, or general location. If the compass direction follows a preposition or if it this designates, designate, designates a definite region, use the definite article. If it follows a verb, no article is used. For example, they went east. They went east, not they went to the east. 
because we don't know if they actually went to the east. They just went east, but maybe when they were, were going there, they took a different direction. If I say they went to the east, it means that they went directly to the east. So that's a big difference. Look to the north. Look to the north and you will see the lake. North, specifically, or specific. The north is cooler than the south. The north is cooler than the south. Specific, right? Specific. With names of oceans, seas, rivers, and canals. Remember that the definite article is always used with these bodies of water. For example, the Amazon, the Indian Ocean, the Red Sea, the Suez Canal. I would like to swim in the Red Sea. And you? In the Red Sea. Because it's a specific, the Red Sea. We know we're talking about one sea, the red one, or the one that is named Red Sea. The same happens with the Amazon, right? Yes, we only have one. The Amazon River, only one. We don't have more, right? So if we say... I'm going to Amazon. No, no, that's not correct. Because uh, if you say I'm going to Amazon, we don't know what you're talking about. If I say we, I'm going to the Amazon, it means the river, specific. Yes. The Amazon is the longest river in the world. Look at that. Yes. With the names of unique objects. This means that uh, that only one of the objects or thing exists. It is only one of a kind. Specifically, the sun, the moon, the internet, the sky, the earth. For example, the sun is a star. We looked up uh, at all the stars in the sky. He is always on the internet. So we're not going to say sun is a star. Sun is a star. Because no, it's only one, there's only one sun, only one moon, only one internet, only one sky, only one earth. Yes, only one earth. Questions so far, people. Guys, questions so far? No. Mm -hmm. No? All right. I think we got one more over here. I'm not sure. With uncountable nouns or things that we cannot count. Uncountable nouns are nouns that we cannot count. A way to identify these nouns in most cases is that they do, they do not add or we do not add as in the plural form. But remember that for every rule, there are many exceptions, of course. If you're speaking about any, account any uncountable noun in general, do not use the article. But when speaking about something specific, the, well, that is used or the is used. For example, I like bread, I like milk, I like honey. I like the bread, I like the milk, I like the honey. Specific bread, milk, or honey. Yes. If I say I like bread, I mean I like it in general. In general. Yes. But if I'm eating, if I'm eating, just let's, let's think about this. If I'm eating something on the street and there's a, a bakery in front of me, I go to the bakery, I get some bread from the bakery, and I tell my friend, hey, I like the bread. I like the bread. In that case, I'm talking about the bread from the bakery over there. But if I say I like bread, in general, it means uh, any bread. Any bread. But if I say I like the bread, yes, it means you're talking about the bread from that bakery. Specific, yes. Oh, we got more. Wait. With the surnames. This is with, with uh, like, Cigarang, with Tobar, uh, with Garcia, all of those. 
When speaking about members of the same family collectively, the article that is used before the surname. In this way, you designate a group of uh, people, a family in this case, with one word. Remember, the surname must be in the plural form. The Cigarans, in this case, the Garcias for Magdiel, the Tovars for Fabricio, the Leivas for Diego, the Grandes for Marilyn, etc. The Ramirez, well, that one is with, with Z already. All right, but look at this. For example, the Smiths are coming for dinner today. Have you seen the Johnsons recently? This is with the surnames, and we use the article. And then we mention the surname of the family. It's maybe three members, four members, or five members. But all these members, they, they need to contain or they need to have the same surname. If they don't have the, sur the same surname, they, then you cannot really use it. Yes. For example, if you are married, your wife has your, your surname. If you have two babies, the babies have your, your surname. So if, for example, my wife, my three my three babies, oh, the cigarangs, right? The cigarangs. Yes, that's how it is. But if uh if uh if one of them doesn't have my my uh I can still say the say the cigarangs, but not including this person, right? <laughs> it's different right there. Now, do you have any questions about the definite article, the or the? Guys, the or the? Questions about it? It's okay so far, teacher. That's okay, that's okay. Mm. All right. Let's go over here. Okay, we're gonna do part number five. It says cross out any unnecessary determiners. Uh, compare your answers with a partner. So let's let's read them. If the article is not necessary, remove it. If you think it is necessary, keep it. Let's do that. Let me give you four or five minutes. Read each sentence and take a look at the. Well, let me select them. Got it. One over here. There you go. We got that right there. Those are the articles. Oh, wait, there's one more.
Okay. Ready or not, here we go. Number one. Tell me. Let's see. I volunteer. Read. Hello. Maybe. Uh, I guess that um, it's unnecessary, the first one. Read it, read it. Okay. Social robots already work in the customer service. You think it's unnecessary? Yes. Guys, do you agree with Diego? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, you are. You guys are right. What is, what is the other one? I erased the other one. This one. Uh, this one. Okay, we got the. Uh, yeah, it is unnecessary because it says social robots already work in customer service. I'm not talking, or we're not talking about uh, specific customer service. It's in general. All right, second one, second one. Teacher, the second one, I think that the first that is not necessary. Okay, let me uh, cross it out. Okay. Just uh, technology. Three. Three. Technology oh, has changed the way. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Technology has changed uh, the way that businesses interact with customers. Yes, you're right. You're right. The first article is not necessary. Okay. Yes. Number three. Thank you, Fabricio. Number three. Anyone read it? Number three, right? Yes. I think that it's unnecessary. Read it. Businesses are taking full advantage of the smartphone revolution. Okay, I think that smartphone, smartphone revolution is it's a term, a general term. Okay, I get your point, but no. In this case, we're talking about a specific revolu revolution. Specific revolution. Which revolution? Smartphone revolution. So it is correct. Yes. Um, so it is. It is. Yes. Don't get confused, okay? In this case, it is specific. Yes. In the next one, I, I am sure about the first one. Okay. I think that... Is that is unnecessary? Read, read. Uh, throw mobile apps, the retailers send customers real time information about the product and offers. I think that it can be throw mobile apps, retailers send customers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right, guys, what do you think? Do you have a vote? Well, does anybody else have a different opinion about this one? Probably no. first is okay, but the second one, no. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, me too. Sorry, me too. The second one is, is unnecessary. Okay. Is there anybody else that have a different opinion? That has a different opinion? No? Okay. Both are not necessary. This one, no, and uh, no. Through mobile apps, retailers, all retailers in general, send customers real-time information about products and offers. Yes. Let's continue with number five. Who can read it? Number five. 
number five. The big data analytics is changing how the businesses operate, operate and communicate with customers. Um, I think that the uh, first is okay. Well, this second one, no, because it's about businesses, not a specific business. Yes, you are right. The big data analytics is changing how businesses operate and communicate with customers. Right, it is correct. The first one is necessary. The second one is not. Number six, the last one. Anyone? Number six. Maybe the first one, it's unnecessary, and the second one, it's okay. They continually uh, gather and analyze, okay. gather, sorry, and analyze the data to improve the experience. They continually gather and analyze the data to improve the experience. To analyze data is correct. Uh, to improve the experience, yes, yes. All right, very good, very good. We got it. Thank you guys for your participation. Gather means collect, collect, yes. All right, time is up. Let me take attendance real quick. If you guys have any questions, it is time to ask me. Diego Jose Benitez Leiva. Present teacher. Stephanie, Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present. Yes, thank you. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Present. Yes, thank you. Yulice Amilet Villalta Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present teacher. Thank you. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present. Yes, Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú Garcia Morales. Present. Thank you. Uh, Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Mario Ernesto Ramirez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. Yes, Ramirez. I'm here. Yes, Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. Raúl Elgardo Muñoz de C. And Ronald Alexander Vázquez Diego. All right. I don't know, guys, if you saw a message that somebody sent from in support from Inle Cooperativo. They sent a message to the group and they uh they mentioned mentioned some specific people. Did you see that? That message was it intended for specific for, for people for was for Diego, it was for uh for Eric, it was for uh Yulisa. <laughs> for Luis Javier and uh, for Rafael because, because you have not completed the activities yet. For example, Diego has to finish or work on uh, section three plus the midterm exam. And uh, section number two, you have to increase the, the, the score up to 80 at least. Enrique, you have to go, uh, well, 65 has to go up to, to 80, the minimum, as well as the midterm. You gotta work on that too. Yes. Uh Julissa, you gotta increase this to 80%, at least 80%, as well as the midterm, 80%. So let me see who else. 
Katia Maria, uh, yes, section three, 80% at least, 80%. Luis Javier, 80%, you have nothing in section three. And the midterm exam has to be at 80% the minimum. Let me see, and Rafael has not done anything on section number two and three and the midterm exam. Let me see who else. There you go. About Ronald, you have you have to work on section one, two, three, and the midterm exam. Please, you gotta work on that these days. Remember that the last the last day is going to be on Monday. Yes, so you need to have everything updated, or you have to be up to date. If you're not up to date, you will have issues with the next module or trying to enroll in the next module. Yes. All right, guys, do you have any questions? No. No? Okay, then. No, teacher. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you guys for joining today's session. It's been a pleasure. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good rest. And, uh, well, take care and see you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, too, teacher. Good night. Yes. Good night. Good night. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care.